In this video, I want to show you how to set up your PC Windows computer with your Epson EcoTank ET2980. I'll show you how to connect both of these, how to print using your PC, and also how to get the scan results directly on your computer. So let's get started. The first step is to go on your Epson printer. Okay, turn it on and we need to connect it to the same Wi-Fi network as the one that your PC is currently connected to. Let me show you how it's done. So let's get started. First, press the home button. Then you're gonna press the left side arrow two times until you get Wi-Fi setup. Press OK. Select the first option, which is Wi-Fi. Click OK. Select Wi-Fi Setup Wizard. The printer will now search for all the different Wi-Fi networks that are around it. Once it has found some of them, you're going to use the up and down arrow to navigate. Once you've found your Wi-Fi network, OK, highlight it and press OK. Now it's time to type the password using the arrows. Once you are done, select OK and press the OK button. The printer will start connecting to your Wi-Fi network. You're going to get setup complete and the message will disappear. This means that your printer is now connected. Next, you're going to go on your PC and open any documents you wish to print. Go ahead and select the print icon. Where you see printer on the left side, click on this and go down. Select add printer, it should be the last option. It will bring you automatically in the printer settings. Then select add device to add your new Epson printer to your PC computer. It will scan for all the different printers that are around your PC and one of them should be the ET2980. Select Add Device. At this point, it will try to connect to your printer and install all the uh, firmware, all the software needed for your PC to be able to print. You don't have to do anything at this point, just wait. And while it's doing this, if your PC is not able to find the software that it needs, and as you see over here, it says ready, which means that everything has been installed. If your PC, maybe you have an older one, is not able to do that, all you have to do is to go on Google, type Epson ET2980 driver, press Google search, and one of the first option will be the official Epson website. From here, click on one of these links, go down. You'll be able to select your operating system, so which version of Windows you have, and it will guide you on how to install the driver manually. So just to demonstrate quickly, Windows 11, go, and download the driver and utility combo package, and then you'll be able to install the driver. Now let's go back to the document that you open to print. Go over here on the printer and now since the printer is installed, it should appear in this list. So let's look closely. If it's not here, like in my case, a bit surprising, what I suggest is that you close the document and you're going to open the document again. Press the print button. And now when selecting printer, here we go, it appeared, ET2980. Select it, input the number of copies and other details about this print, and at the end press print. Usually it takes around 15 seconds to get the print out. And this is our print. Now let me show you how to scan and get the results on your PC. So you're going to open the scan lid. 
Take the document you wish to scan, place it facing down with the top part towards the right side. Now you're going to notice there is an arrow over here. We need to bring the paper so that the corner of the paper touches the corner with an arrow. This is how we know that everything is aligned. Close the scan lid and on your PC we need to open the scan app. This app comes included with most PCs these days. If you don't know if you have it or not, go in the search bar over here and type scan. It should look like this, scan app. If you don't have it, go into the Microsoft Store and download it. It's made by, Win by Microsoft and it's free. So once you open the scan app, on the left side where you see scanner, you need to select the printer that you're using, which is the ET2980. Here you go. Then you have source, leave it like this, file type, select which kind of file you want out of this scan. So I'll select JPEG, click on show more. And now you have to select where do you want the results to go. I'll select desktop. At the end, press scan and wait. You're going to get a confirmation message on the top of the screen that it has been completed. Here we go. You can view the file or you simply close and continue scanning. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe. If you need some ink, some paper for your printer, check my Amazon links down below and I will see you in the next video.